Hi guys, it's Rachel and I am starting my new YouTube channel today and I am so excited to show you guys everything and I have been looking forward to this for a long time. My husband and I have been wanting to start our own YouTube channel to share our insights and information on everything Disney. So that's so exciting. I'm so glad you guys are here um, to join me in my channel. Um, bear with me, it might get a little rocky. Um, you know for these first few vlogs to just kind of get through the nervousness here. So um, Like I said, my name is Rachel and I am so excited So you're probably wondering who's your Disney? What does that even mean? So we got our name Hoosier is if you are born in Indiana or you're a native of Indiana um, some people will um, beg to differ and say that they're boiler makers, but we don't like to speak of those people. Just kidding. But there's a huge rival rivalry through um, IU and Purdue um, here in Indiana, if you know anything about Indiana. Um, so, nothing against Purdue fans. I go to Purdue all the time. It's closer to us um, than IU is, but I am an IU fan. So, um, in Disney, um, we are Disney addicts. Um, my husband and I absolutely love Disney. Um, anything Disney makes, anything Disney does, we're part of it. We try to be anyways, if the financials are good. So um, I just want to thank you for being here um, and giving our channel a chance and just uh, bearing with us. So why are we Disney addicts? Well, I will tell you how my addiction got started and I've been to Disney um, 18 times since I was five years old and it is the most magical place in the world and I know everybody said oh you know it's so magical but it really is it's not just for kids either um, all of you that you know think that you know oh Disney it's just for kids you know I don't really want to go there I really want to do the adult stuff in that Universal place that I don't like to talk about <laughs> So I've never been to Universal because I am such a Disney addict and um, I just I really love Disney so um, Been there 18 times since I was age five and um, I got proposed to in front of the castle in 2015 and my husband made my dream come true That's always what I've wanted to have done and I'm like my man better propose me in front of that castle or I'm going to say no. <laughs> so he did and um, I had no idea that he was actually going to do it um, the day that he did it. So um, it was a awesome surprise and um, one of the best days of my entire life. Um, we did get married in September of 2016 and um, we did incorporate some Disney in our wedding. Um, I did walk down the aisle to the piano version of Beauty and the Beast, which was awesome. And um, he did cry, just FYI. Um, you guys will get to meet him on the next blog. Um, I will make sure that um, to incorporate him in most of my blogs um, after this one. We're gonna try to vlog together. So um, you'll get to meet him on the next one. I'm just gonna kind of tell you um, kind of about our lifestyle, um, what this channel is kind of gonna be about. Um, we like to help you with anything from planning your Disney trip, giving you tips on dining, um, maybe packing for a Disney trip, um, and maybe, you know, giving you some insights on if the annual pass is worth it, um, in our point of view. So like I said, you know, and this is just our opinion, so, you know, please be nice with all the comments, um, you know, if you have any advice that you may want to give um, on your experiences, that is welcome as well. Um, my husband and I try to go twice a year, and so far it's been working out pretty well. Uh, we were just there in April of this year. And we did not stay on Disney property at that time. We only did one day in Disney and we chose Epcot because we wanted to check out the Flower and Garden. And Flower and Garden was absolutely amazing. It was both of our first times at Flower and Garden. Um, the food set up on the booths around the countries, um, they were kind of like food and wine if you've been to food and wine before. Food and wine um, is amazing as well. Um, we absolutely love it. Um, we're gonna get to take a part of that this year. We are planning a trip 
in August. We will be down at Caribbean Beach Resort on August 30th and we are so excited. Um, we are actually staying um, in the moderate resort instead of a value resort. Not that there's anything wrong with the value resorts because we love the value resorts as well. Um, just the moderate resort just offers just a little bit more um, luxury and um, more spacious rooms and um, we're just excited to um, be able to check it out because we really want to try to stay in every resort there is that's on our bucket list is to do to check out every resort so um, I've stayed in Caribbean Beach before and my husband has not so I'm excited to show him around it's been a while since I stayed there I was probably nine years old so um, yes it's been a while since um, I've been there and I know there's been tons of refurbishment and everything like that we did um, go check it out when we were when we were in Disney in April we went to see um, you know what it all looked like and everything like that and I'm excited to check everything out and try the new restaurants and all that good stuff so um, you know I am just like I said I'm super excited about our trip that's all I think about every day I mean every day all day is like yes yeah, our trip gonna get here I'm so excited so um, I have Disney on the brain so they call me at work so it's fine <laughs> so um, what I wanted to um, start out with um, we were gonna get the annual pass um, it was gonna be worth it to even go twice a year and make it worth our while for the annual pass um, however they just raised the prices and um, it's not going to be worth um, that price of going just twice a year to get that so um, you know it's just a little bit too expensive we'd probably have to go three or four times now to make that price worth our while so um, with that said um, we're still gonna go twice a year but we're still just gonna pay um, like normal um, I know that um, we have a trip planned um, for my birthday in January so that will be you know an upcoming as well but it won't be strictly Disney I know we're not staying on Disney property that trip so um, let's see we are doing a five-day ticket um, I know a lot of you do the hopper the hopper ticket and the option um, we however we like to do the one day tickets and I know it's kind of nice to hop from park to park especially if you want to go dine in a different park that day um, but we really like to um, do a full day in each park and just take you know take our time and um, just really enjoy every part of it which I know you can, can with the hopper as well but we just like to stick to one park a day and that's just our preference like I said I know that a lot of people do the hopper and enjoy it um, so we are doing the five days so that leaves us three days to I should say two and a half because of our flight but um, that leaves us two and a half days to kind of chill and actually enjoy our resort so I'm excited to just um, be able to relax and um, enjoy our trip so with that said I'm just gonna kind of wrap it up just a little bit here um, our next vlogs are going to be um, how we are preparing for our upcoming Disney trip I think we have 37 days till we um, fly out so I'm excited I'm excited to ride the Disney's Magical Express I think that's that's saying welcome to Disney if you're on that Magical Express that's awesome so um, you know I would love to hear your insights on our channel and just kind of see what you guys think I promise you it will get more exciting I just wanted to kind of introduce you um, to what our channel is going to be like and um, hope you guys enjoy it and relate to it and like I said any comments or suggestions I would love to see so um, if you think that this is a channel that you might like go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you next week thanks guys